know, like, Dr. Rasmussen, like, just give me an A. That's what I said. What are you doing? Did you know that your phone could be emitting harmful levels of magnetic flux density? <gasps> oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just calibrating our gas meter with this magnet. So, for our experiment, we wanted to test the electromagnetic flux density radiating from an iPhone 7 when a phone call is being placed at varying distances. Because the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection states that the general public exposure to magnetic flux density is 0.2 milliteslas. So, to conduct this experiment, we placed our iPhone 7 on the phone dock, and we have this pre-calculated um, jig measurement of one centimeter, and so we're just going to adjust the jig for the contact position as well. And from there, we're just going to take the readings off of our Gauss meter and then record those readings. And from there, we're going to go into the statistical analysis of how many samples we need and what these samples told us. All right. When we were measuring the magnetic flux density of the iPhone 7 at one centimeter, we only had to take five samples. And when we were measuring it when the sensor was in contact with the iPhone 7, we had to take 20 samples. The reason we did this was because we continued to take samples until the random uncertainty was less than or equal to the systematic uncertainty. So in conclusion, from the data we gathered, uh, while the sensor was in contact with the phone, it gave off about, on average, 37.4 milliteslas, and while it was one centimeter away, it gave off about 4.6 milliteslas. After doing a pair of t-tests, we found that these averages were significantly different from each other. They were also both, ex they both exceeded the general public recommendation for exposure.